Hey, good morning guys. So today we are in Quebec City. We came to attend an RV show. So let's get to it. Hi, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations. And our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following and welcome to our channel. This one is new to me. I've never seen this type before, but it's really nice. So here you have your power plug, cable TV, your sewer dump pipes are down there. Look at those killer tires though. Amazing, right? Sewer hose is here. It's kept there. City water fill there. And this is a four x four. I guess you could tell from those tires. You gotta love that sliding window in there. And I love that the windows are tinted so you have that nice feeling of privacy. Up top there, it looks like we have an air conditioner and the wine guard, I believe it's a satellite dish. And you got the nice floodlights in front. That awning is pretty substantial. And you have a little bit of LED strip lighting there so that if you're having a drink here during happy hour, then you could just, you know, everything's nice and well lit. So the maker here is Thor Motor Coach, which we all know and love. I love this. I love this little workstation. You can put drinks here. You have a speaker here, so your USB and one 10 volt plug, so you could charge stuff. Little bit of storage compartment there. And here, this is brilliant. There's a net, so you can keep your shoes in there and not worry about them falling out when you close the door. Both of the seats are on swivels, and we got a lovely table there so that you can have a meal. This is your electric shut off. Um, this is going to be the control center. This is to help you get inside for those people that have a bit of a reduced mobility. And you have hooks here for your coats. Fire extinguisher there. Nice light there. TV. I love this, this swivel table. So you could be seated here and have your meal or you could be seated here in the captain's chairs. And what's cool is that there are seat belts here so you can actually carry two people with you. For the kitchen, the sink is not as deep as I would like it to be but we're a little bit spoiled in our van, I'll be honest. And you have your range over here, a little bit of storage and a USB plug there. I really love having a microwave in the RV. It's super practical for warming things up, like water, for example. Lots of storage here. Down here, you have the LP propane detector, some 110, some USB outlets. I really, really like the floors. This is a great bathroom. You know, it's big enough. So, not really sure how this works. <laughs> oh, how does that work? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you, you wash your hands like this, I guess, and then it drains there, and all this tucks away for when you're driving. And it's a wet bath. It's nice that you do have the option of having a shower in here, and that's your bathroom vent and uh, you're gonna have a curtain that goes across there and check out that tv it's huge all right and this is the fridge really really big fridge which is nice this is the garage 
can't see much in this light, but you get the idea. Yeah, not the biggest bed I've ever seen. It looks like it's smaller than a double bed. Some storage there. Nice air conditioning unit. Smoke detector. More storage. I gotta say, this is very compact. This is a small wheelbase and you're not gonna get a lot of space. This would be better suited to like weekend trips. But the ceilings are really high and you got a nice fan right there. I love these steps. It's easy to get in and out. Beautiful. You're gonna get a special salon price and that's 204900 So that's Canadian dollars, not US. Your US dollars are gonna get you more bang for your buck, and that's the model right there. So there's a reason why this RV comes with a really big price tag. Number one, it's four by four. Number two, it's Sprinter. Number three, the manufacturer is Thor. So all of these things combined kind of bring up that price, and you know, it's pandemic times, so prices have gone up substantially. Now, keep in mind, if you're using American dollars, it's just a fraction of the $204,000.